whereas we are professional. We're professional in the, in the respect of we train specifically to complete a task. So we always go in and do what we train for. And then you have contingencies if it goes wrong. So at no point in time, even if you were to lose, at no point in time are you doing something that you don't normally do. Just remind us where you train again. Uh, we're Team Savage and we're in uh, Western Superman. And so for people who, you know, Ten years ago, I wouldn't have been standing outside a leisure centre talking to you about mixed martial arts. It wouldn't have been sanctioned to go on here, it just wouldn't be happening. And now it's moving into the mainstream. How gratifying for someone who trains athletes, as you say, not brawlers, athletes. How gratifying is it to see this type of event happening and knowing that this, in all likelihood, isn't going to be the last one. There's going to be more like this. That's fantastic because I started fighting about ten years ago with, when it's first inception into this country. And there was a lot of... Um, people who didn't know what it was and that ignorance sort of uh, made them um, not like it and I had to battle with that and we were doing what we did in really grotty places and to come somewhere like this I mean this isn't just a normal leisure centre this is a nice plush leisure centre and to come and have like you know crowds of a thousand and more than that etc it's fantastic and the, the viewing figures speak for themselves with USC, UFC when I, I mean when I was doing it nobody knew what mixed martial arts was you had to say cage fighting and then everyone thought you were a, a violent crazy person now you can actually walk around and say oh, I do mixed martial arts and everybody knows what you're talking about which is fantastic I know you're going to be busy tonight coach so just one final question what is a good night for you your fighters all said and answered done when you sit down and you tot up the wins and losses is it about wins and losses is it about something deeper what success is it it's always about winning it's always about winning and I think this is something this country needs to get over it is the winning it's not the taking part because if you're not in it to win it I mean it's all right to lose as long as you perform to the best of your ability. And if that person over there is better than you, you know, there's nothing you can do about it. But if you're not in it to win it, there's no point turning up. So a good night for me as a coach is my guys win, although the most important thing is that my guys come out with no injuries so we can carry on next week. Final question, Jude, this is the final one. People will be listening to this going, I'm still teaching, I'm still on the edge, I want to come along, I don't know what to expect, I don't know what I'm going to get. Give them the sell, why should they take up mixed martial arts as a sport? Uh, yeah. uh, mixed martial arts, even if you don't compete, is by far the most complete form of training you can do. Look at how popular CrossFit is nowadays. CrossFit is what mixed martial arts has been doing for years. HIT training, high intensity interval training, is what mixed martial arts has been doing for years. It covers everything, all aspects. And you'll find that most mixed martial arts also have another interest, such as triathlons, arms, etc. etc. So if you want to get into something, uh, MMA is the place to be because if you get bored of one thing, there's always something else to do. And it is fantastic. And if you find a club like ours, it's friendly, there's no egos, etc., etc., it's the place to be. And it is a family. You'll see all of our guys, we're all wearing our kit, and you'll be able to see us because we are one big family and we all look after each other. Coach, winning start. Congratulations. Cheers, buddy. Thanks, guys. Nice. Appreciate it. No Cheers. Worries.